78 degrees this morning at daybreak. Got a lot of mullet work in the surface. Since it's so warm, the Louisiana state bird, the big saltwater marsh mosquitoes are out in full force also. Fish here, I won't be able to stay long. I don't know if you can see them in the lens, but the gnats are just horrendous. Flying around everywhere. They got a little bit of movement on the water. No hits yet. Oh, right when I say that, pick up a fish. Nice trout. Oh well. Guess I'm gonna have to deal with the gnats. Because if I can catch trout, I can ignore them. <laughs> Between the sunscreen and the trout, I go to tail. Bunch of seagulls feeding right up here on this oyster reef. So I can go up there if there's any fish. This is a little better. About a quarter inch too short. Maybe the third one will be the charm. Ooh, ooh that does feel better. Oh, he got off. They little I could feel them fighting every. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Well, that's a keeper. Well, right now, if I had a voodoo shrimp on a popping cork, would probably be the trick. White trout. White trouts are freebies, no size on them. Man, look at the shrimp popping in here. Ooh, this is a good one here. This is a good one here. Calm down. <laughs> Boy, they are slippery today. A reef, they got shrimp popping. Might as well try to match the bait. I'm going to an unfair shrimp. See what happens here. There we go. Oh, the unfair shrimp. Oh, looks like he's hooked in the side of the head. Probably what's going to happen. That's a nice trout. I'd like to try a voodoo shrimp under a popping cork, but I don't want to take the time to change. It's 
popped over to a wobble right just to see what we could do. Can we catch a keeper? I like that. Still got a little trout hitting on the top. So I'm trying to sink a spoon further down. You can see all in these sticks are they're feeding on little stuff everywhere. Popping all over again. Don't know whether to go chase the birds down or just sit here and drift through them. As you can see the gnats are still horrendous even out in the middle of a bay. Unbelievable day for that, I tell you. Try this silliness. <laughs> Another white trout. We know one thing, the white trout like to like the mayhem. Stink bait. Let's see if we can pull a big speck out now. We're out here in November and I'm fishing a voodoo shrimp under a popping cork on top of the reefs just like you would in the summer. You can see the little bitty things hitting it. Let's see what we got here. Tiny, tiny fish. Oh, a little white trout. That one's too skinny. Up against the marsh grass throwing a gold spoon. <laughs> a mangrove snapper. <coughs> well, here's when I've caught the mangroves here, I've done all right. Feels like a redfish shaking his head. He hit pretty good. Coming right at me. Don't do that. Well, he might do. Might be a keeper. Oh, nice fish. That's a nice red. Got me in the net. I'll just come right up and hit it. Oh, oh, come dancing out the water. Stay there, stay there. Just out of nowhere, you come and hit it. That is a pretty trout. up something trolling and it's fighting funny. Can't figure this one out. If it's a trout it might be a good one. Yep, and it is a, it is a good trout. Oh man. So like I said in the video about Lake Hermitage, it's 
how much bigger the trout are here at Port Sulphur right now. in the boat. That's what you're supposed to do. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Nice fish. Well, I've used every technique I got today. Gold spoon along the rocks, gold spoon along the marsh, artificials along the marsh, popping cork on top of oyster reefs with artificials, and uh, now I'm back to the old standby trolling. Picked up two trolling on my way back in. I'll make a few more passes and see what we do. So it took uh, <laughs> everything I know except for live bait to get a few fish today. See if maybe a bite will turn on here. 20 till 11. Fish on. Every pass, I get a bite. They don't always hook good, though. This one feels decent. In the boat. It's a keeper. Got to guess from spinning around me. Tear their mouth on that swim shed. Slack in the line. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's a pretty trout there, boy. Get a good grip on him. Like a little one. Not coming up yet. <laughs> we'll talk about a little one. A little white trout. You know what? I already got a couple of y'all and you're bleeding bad. Yeah, he's hooked in the gullet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven specks, three white trout, and a red. Not a bad day. I'm leaving Port Sulphur. It's uh, in the 80s on November 6th. Crazy hot. Can't pattern the fish. They're not in the deep holes like they are in the winter. Used every technique I know today gold spoons, uh, voodoo shrimp under popping corks, artificials trolling artificials, everything but live bait. I didn't have any live bait. Uh, ended up with 11 trout, three white trout, and uh, one keeper red. So all in all, it wasn't a bad morning. It's not even 12 yet. Getting a lot of comments on my headliner. At uh, 21 years of shoving fishing poles in and out the truck, that's what you get. <laughs> so until next time, get out there and go fishing.